We're back on Smells Like 90s Rock, the Juneteenth special, honoring and recognizing black artists uh, from the 90s. But, you know, of all time, but particularly the 90s, because that's the, you know, that's the show. So that's how that works. Mm -hmm. We continue to stand in solidarity, and we were just talking about the Confederate flag. First, I want us to talk about this, because, Sheila, I don't know if you know this story. Oh, one thing I wanted to say before we move on about the... Clutch, clutch, per, per, Pearl Clutch and Chads and and Karens about the uh, the civil or the civil rights uh, the thing that was passed in the Supreme Court. What it's amazing how when the attention shifts from the Black Lives Matter movement, that whole all all lives matter thing that completely goes out the window, doesn't it? You never notice that. Yeah, because yeah, all lives don't really matter. They don't, do um, they? Unless you're talking about, seems, if you're talking about black people, then all lives matter. But then if you're talking about or get, abortion, right? I see it creeping up in that that you know. All term. lives matter. But then if you're talking about all oh, gay people got the right to do this, well, well, well cuss my pearls. <laughs> That's word yeah. for word what they say. That's actually what I read on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sad fact. But no, the Confederate flag, and I actually laughed at this because I thought this was the dumbest thing. Ohio, the state of Ohio, put down a ban, stopped a ban of Confederate flags at their state fairs. I looked at that and I was like, oh, whatever. But then I backed up and I was like, Ohio? <laughs> what do you got in the middle of this? Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why are you, um... Why are you so... My cat just threw something in my head. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> the, the why are you so like, losers? The Confederacy is yeah. not your pride. It's not your, 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 your pride. It's It has nothing to do with you. Well, it's their heritage, too, right? <laughs> the, no, no, it's not. It's not even the South's heritage. It shouldn't be. Well, you know, that's not nearly as kind of dumbfounding to me as the fact that we have Confederate statues in our, you know, House of Congress. Yeah, that's true. Like, what? Oh, yeah. No, or, or on our, you know... it. It's our. It's already bizarre enough that you have them outside the state capitol, let alone, mm -hmm. or the capitol like, capitol building. I mean, do we have like King George statues too from when we like declared our independence? <laughs> don't don't think so. Or uh, oh, who was the Mexican general in the Mexican War? I can't remember his name. Santa, Santa Anna. We don't have we don't have uh, statues of him or. Or who else? Or or hit well Hitler <laughs> from World War Two. Yeah, there's no statue of Hitler. I don't see Hitler. Or... You know. No statue of Hirohito. No Hirohito. Although we we made peace with him though. That was that was interesting though. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, like, do we, you know, do we have like a hall of enemies that I don't know about, and that's why it's there, or? You know, have we just lost our minds? You know something? Maybe, maybe you got something there. Maybe the uh, the the government can pull their resources together and create a hall of losers at, in in the capitals of all the of all the southern states and in Washington D.C. You only mm -hmm. need, you only need them there because the South was the enemy to the United States for a while, and then and then D.C. Mm -hmm. for the rest of the for the rest of the wars. And that way you can put mm -hmm. the, that way you can keep the statues up. Yeah, just create your hall of losers. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that's the just move them all to this one like sad museum, and you have to put in, like big letters outside, hall yeah. of losers. And it has, and and it's letters like uh, like a serial killer would write, like like pieces of like letters from the newspaper, like that. That's what it needs to look like. And that way we will never forget our history because all the statues will remain intact in the Hall of Losers. Ah, I think we, we, of, we need to patent a, this or whatever. Where they like describe their life, what the historical events they participated in. And at the very end of every single one of them, you can just put, he, he lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just he lost. Loser. Period. People, <laughs> pe you know, people in the South hate pre precipitate precipitation. Precipitation. 
participation trophies. They hate rain and they hate participation trophies, yet they wear the Confederate flag. That joke would have been really good if I screwed it up. You know what? I seriously think that we need to petition our government to create a Hall of Losers Museum. Let's do it. So that we don't forget our history (laughs) and we keep the monuments around. And we don't forget our heritage here in the South. We were losers in the 1860s. Pretty much for yeah, the, like, and pretty much for another hundred years after that, because we wouldn't let black I mean, people do things. I think we're still kind of maybe there too, but you know. I mean, y- tomato, we, tomato. We still, you know, we still have voter, you know. <laughs> the, yeah, voter inter- yeah. like voter suppression and interference so. and uh, and yeah and and you know those those it's that that pesky cop killing innocent people thing that too. Yeah. So I just think that on Juneteenth celebration, that should be the day that we begin the petition, all of our local governments to create the Hall of Losers. I love it. Let's hear it. I think we've come up with a great thing. I think my favorite moment, though, from from as far as like Confederate memorabilia that came or paraphernalia that came came out during this week was um, the NASCAR driver who officially retired because he wasn't allowed to fly the confederate flag that was the funniest thing he did that his, was the funniest thing was his last name was uh, like sicarelli i don't even like nobody even nascar fans didn't know who he was he's but never won a race the, nobody gave a crap i think that yeah he never finished first in a race and i think the be- the best take i heard on it was like Yes, he, he decides to honor the Confederacy by never winning anything. <laughs> Boom! Drop the mic yeah. on that one. Sorry, Cardellini, whatever your name is. Sorry, loser. Yeah. You will be, we will build you a statue and put it in the Hall of Losers. He can be in the Hall of Losers. Congratulations. This is great Yay. news for him. I have a feeling that he, he's... He's like, maybe maybe I should retire. Maybe this is a good time to make it look like I'm retiring on principle. It's not because of that 0-31 record. Right, exactly. It's not that I can't win. I have principles. 